Welcome to my channel. Today I got another 100% honest underrated slime shop review video. I love doing these. You guys seem to love them. This has been a series on my channel for a very long time. So I am back with another one today. As always, these reviews are a 100% honest. And as I go through the video, I'm going to point out all aspects of the slime, the packaging, what it comes with and everything. So if I say there's no extras or there's no borax, it doesn't mean I'm complaining. I'm just kind of letting you guys know what came in all these packages. So please keep that in mind. I get comments about that all the time. I really need your help to get to 500,000 subscribers by the end of September. I would love to do that and if we make it there then I will have a huge giveaway for you guys and I'm also trying to reach 10,000 followers on my slime Instagram. So if you guys go follow me on there and I reach 10,000 followers by the end of the month I will also have a giveaway on my slime Instagram only for the followers on there so you have a much better chance of winning and it would mean so so much to me. You guys have been so supportive in all my videos lately and I just wanted to thank you so so much. And this is just like a big goal that I can't believe we're getting close to 500,000 subscribers. So if you can help me get there, you are amazing. Let me know in the comments if you just subscribed and I will definitely try to answer as many of your comments as I can. But for today's video, I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and jump in. This first package comes from SNK Slime Shop and everything was packaged really nicely and there was a ton of really cute extras. There were these little butterflies and the slimes of course and then these three little squishies. So this first slime is the Bubblegum Floam and I love all the labels and I like how all the slimes are labeled and super nice containers and this one was just so beautiful. This one was like a pink slime with a ton of foam beads and glitters in it and it was scented like pomegranate. It was super clicky and the bubble pops were amazing. I absolutely loved this. This was one of my favorites from this whole video. I just had so much fun playing with it. Moving along to the next slime, this one is called Melon Butter and this brings back so many memories for me. This is scented just like Cucumber Melon. I used to wear this body spray all the time from Bath & Body Works and that's exactly what this smells like. So it smells really refreshing and nice. This is a butter slime made with Daiso clay and it's just this really pretty mint green color and it's really nice, very spreadable. You could even poke it and it makes really nice bubble pops. So I just think this one one is really nice, very spreadable, true to a butter slime, not quite a clay slime. Um, so that's perfect and it fluffs up really, really nicely. So this is a super nice butter slime. I had to activate it just the slightest bit, but it was really, really creamy. This last slime is called Melted Chocolate and it's this deep brown clear glue slime and it has jelly cubes in it. So this one totally threw me off because it reminded me so much of like a Coca-Cola with ice cubes, definitely not melted chocolate. And the smell of it was like a big red bubble gum, like super cinnamony, if that's even a word, I'm not quite sure, but it had a really strong cinnamon smell. So I don't know if the name fit this one. And this was my least favorite out of the three just because even after activating it, it just left little small pieces on my hands and the jelly cubes were a little bit big but they were perfect for squishing so I don't know I'm just not a huge fan of clear slimes in general because I feel like they're really hard to get right and not sticky or leave any kind of residue um, or little pieces of slime on your hands even after activating but this one was pretty nice it just threw me off a bit with the name like don't you think this kind of looks like coca-cola or is it just me
The next package is from Badazzle Slime, and this one came with three different slimes in it as well, in a bag full of goodies. There were so many extras. There were little squishies, many Chex Mix pieces, another squishy. There's just so many good stuff in here, some eyeballs, and yeah, the list goes on. They sent an awesome bag of little extras. And they also sent like the biggest squishy I have. It's this ginormous pancake squishy. I thought this was so cute. I do want to point out that everything was packaged really nice. Although the slimes didn't have bubble wrap, they did have packing paper, which I thought would work pretty well. However, two out of the three containers cracked. Luckily, nothing leaked out of them, um, but it made it not possible to reuse the containers when I put them back into it. So anyways, onto this first slime. It was like this white butter slime and none of these had names on them so I'm not sure what the names were um, but this was a white butter slime and I think their logos are so so cute they're so colorful I absolutely love them but this slime was really nice very spreadable the perfect butter slime consistency this was also scented really nicely like sweet candy I couldn't exactly put my finger on the scent but it smelled really really nice and fruity kind of like candy This next slime was this nice purple foam and it had tons of glitter in it and this one was just really pretty. This one I couldn't pick up a scent in it. I'm pretty sure it was unscented but it was super clicky and the bubble pops were amazing with it. I really liked this one. I just thought it was a lot of fun to play with. It wasn't really sticky hardly at all. I had to activate it just the slightest bit. It did melt a little bit during shipping um, but anyways I just really liked this one. This was probably my favorite out of the three that were sent. This last slime was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful clear slime. Now it had tons of glitter, it had blue foam beads, and it had some slushy beads in it. However, it was super, super melted. Um, I had to add so much activator to this, and I know it does melt during shipping, but clear slime melts so fast during shipping, so you definitely want to make sure they're slightly overactivated when you ship them. I had the problem with a lot of the clear slimes in this video. Um, as you can see, it just left a lot of little pieces on my fingers, and then once I fully activated activated it it was super cloudy so I have to wait for it to clear up but the texture on it was really nice it was unscented I couldn't pick up on any scents at least and just the texture with all the foam beads and the slushy beads was awesome Now the last package I have is from Bon Bon Slime Co. I really loved the bubble mailer. Actually, it's not a bubble mailer. I just like the mailer that this came in. And then it came with a borax slime care sheets and three slimes. Now you see two of them, they leaked a little bit, but there was luckily no cracks in the container. Um, they were just like overfilled. So some of it like overflowed a little bit. But anyways, this first slime is a clear glue slime called Treasure. Now this was another one that was pretty melted and I had to activate quite a bit. So again, with clear Clear slimes, you always want to make sure they are overactivated just a bit. Um, that way, they arrive the perfect consistency because you don't want it to arrive overactivated, but you also don't want to arrive underactivated. So there's like a good balance. Uh, this one was did leave some like small slime pieces on my hand as well, and this was scented very floral and flowery, very much like lilac, and it was just a really powerful um, flower scent to it. So it was a really pretty slime. I loved the gold in it. This next slime is called Blue Goo, and this is a pretty basic slime. It's just, I love the vibrant color on this one, and it's just a glossy blue slime. So this is scented like vanilla and chocolate mousse. I absolutely loved the smell on this one. It smelled so nice, but again, these definitely needed to be overactivated a little bit before they were sent because all of them were quite melted, so I had to activate it quite a bit, but the bubble pops on this one were incredible. I loved it.
This last slime was kind of like a double-edged sword for me. Unfortunately, this was called Pink Pool. And what I mean by that is look how beautiful this slime is. It was absolutely gorgeous. However, it was just completely melted. Like no part of this was activated whatsoever. So it just seemed like an extremely weak activator was used when it was shipped or it just wasn't fully activated when it did ship because it won't complete, a slime won't completely melt during shipping, especially when the other ones didn't. Um, so this one was just kind of a pain to get back to a good texture and then it started to get cloudy again. I think for all three of these slimes that a weaker solution of borax was used just because they all melted so much. You really want to use just a stronger activator when you're mailing your slimes. But I think the color was beautiful on this one and it smelled really delicious as well. It was scented like strawberries. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, you are part of my hashtag 500k squad. This is a hashtag I come up with at the end of every video. It's always different and it's something you could leave in the comments if you make it to the very end of the video. That's our little secret. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what slime shop was your favorite in the comments down below. And if you missed my past couple of videos, as always, you could click on over to the side of me and I'll talk to you next time for a brand new video. Bye.